Hi, I'm Mike King from Back to Bikes and I'm going to talk today about bike assessment. So let's say you're interested in buying a bike or borrowing a bike, looking at a friend's bike. I'm just going to take you through all the different things on a bike that you need to look for just to check that it's safe and it's a reasonable bike. Okay, so here's an example of a bike that's not in great condition and we're going to find a few problems with this and I'll just explain what they all are. All right, so starting out at the back wheel, rock the wheel from side to side and you can see that this one is moving quite a lot. So what this means is that the wheel bearings here are in bad condition. And in fact, they're in such bad condition that this back wheel is probably not, not usable. We'll look at other things like the cables. This is not too bad, but if they're really rusty, corroded, frayed at the end, then there, there may be a problem there. This one you can see has some uh, fraying and it's a little bit dirty so they, and it's rusty here. So these gears are probably not going to change particularly well. The chain and the cassette are dirty um, so they could probably benefit from a clean. It's not critical but uh, it's a thing to look for. The same with the, the, the crank here. that You can wiggle this from side to side in and out and if you feel any play then that's a problem. So this bike has got a problem in this area as well. Moving on to the front of the bike, you rock the front wheel in and out again, looking for play. This one's got a flat tire, so clearly that's a problem in itself. You again look for signs of rust on cables. Gear shifters, check that they click nicely as you move them. And you can also check the headset by holding the brake on and rocking the bike backwards and forwards and holding here so you can feel for any movement in that bearing. This one is okay, so it's one of the few things on this bike that's actually good. You see on the front wheel how the spokes are rusty. The cheaper bikes they make with galvanisation on the spokes and that galvanisation is what they call sacrificial oxidation. So it, it corrodes slowly and it gets to a point where all of the galv has gone and, the, and the, the spokes themselves start to rust. And it looks pretty unsightly. It's not fatal, but at some point then the spokes will need to be replaced. Or basically on a cheaper bike, the, uh, the whole wheel will need to be replaced. I have a wheel here, which is an example of, this one is an alloy rim, which is lighter, and they don't rust in themselves, which is good. This one is a steel rim, and you can see how there are patches of rust on it. Um, particularly bad is any rust on the braking surface because it means that the bike is going to snatch. As you hit the brakes it's going to snatch on you so it, it, it will be dangerous. You'll also see on this tyre that the, uh, the tyre itself is cracked, quite badly cracked. So this has been out in the sun for a long time. Um, usually when the tyre is pumped up it will look okay. So at first glance it will look like that and you'll think it's fine. But in fact if you squeeze the tyre when it's deflated, then you'll see these cracks opening up. And quite often the tread will look okay, but it's the sidewalls where the damage occurs. So, that, you know, this is a dangerous tire and I wouldn't uh, keep it on this bike. So those are a few of the things that you can look for when you're looking at a bike. And uh, without any tools, you can work through and then decide whether this is the right bike for you.